Everybody knows it. So I haven't got a single friend in the world. Oh, I'm so sorry that you're hurt, Steve. I'm sorry the way it came out anyway. Is that it? Yeah, just wait for my taxi, then I'll be out your hair. Looks nice, by the way. Look nice. Right, I'll be in touch with the arrangements. What arrangements? For the baby, when I get her back. I'm so sorry, Karen. I'm not sorry. Yes, I am. You've never felt sorry for anybody in your life. Well, I feel sorry for you. You're a vicious, evil, vindictive cow. And you don't care about anybody but yourself. Karen! Don't try and defend her, Steve. Because I've got one of these for each of you. You touch me with that, Karen. And I'll be suing you with criminal injury. As well as getting child support out of him. Dead people can't sue Tracy. Karen, don't make it work. How can it be anyway? Because she means it. When it comes to screwing money out of people, she does it very well. Oh, as opposed to just screwing people. Ah! Karen, I didn't come here to hurt you. No, you just came to hurt Roy and Hayley. No. I came to get my baby back, but he wouldn't let me. Was well, it any wonder? And then he started having a go at me. You're not dealing with Haley now. You're dealing with a girl who grew up knowing how to use her heels. And I want the truth. I want to know exactly what went on between the two of you. Well, you'd be lucky if you get the truth out of this one. The truth is, Karen, you've had a narrow escape. At least you know what sort of man he is. Really? What sort of man's that? He's a scumbag. You fancied him since you were at school, got yourself pregnant by him. No, it was an accident. You've been sniffing round him for months, got yourself a job with him, so you like scumbags, do you? Well, it took me a while to get the measure of him. How long have you been seeing each other? I don't know, we were friends for a while. One night it was. One night and one morning, actually. It was enough to get me pregnant. You know, Karen, when he found out, he wanted me to get rid of it. That is a lie! Well, I just didn't know what to do. In the end, I let him persuade me. It had gone well past that stage before I knew anything about Who's it. Who's telling the story? Yeah, and that's all it is, a story. You know, I was all set to have an abortion, Karen. And then for some weird reason, Roy thought the baby was his. Yeah, because she told him it was. Next thing I know, Haley's left him. He's tried to kill himself. Well, I couldn't go through with it then, could I, Karen? Be like having two deaths on my conscience. C conscience? Don't make me laugh. The croppers. They can't have kids. Well, there's me not wanting one, but I can't go through with the abortion. It seemed like the simplest solution. She did this for money. She sold her baby for money. Yeah, well, they did offer me money. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and she took it. You made me take it! After the baby was born, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to go through with it. But my head was in bits, Karen. I've got Roy throwing money at me and he's forcing me to take it. I didn't force you to do anything. You came to see us in the hospital, didn't you? Admit it. Hours after the baby was born, he came to see us. You asked me to come? I told him that I didn't think I could go through with it. We talked about telling you about coming clean. But in the end, he told me to give the baby to him. Deny it. You can't, can you? I wish I hadn't listened to him, Karen, but... I was scared of him. Oh, God, she's twisting everything here now, Karen. I have regretted it ever since. She did it for money. In the end, I just flipped. I couldn't stand being away from my daughter for one moment longer. So I came here to stand up to him and claim what is rightfully mine. But him and his brother, they tried to stop me. So I lost my temper. And you got hurt. And I am really sorry about that, Karen. But you know, at least you know what sort of man he is before it's too late. Can kind I of go now? She's just trying to split us up. Shut big. up, Steve. Tracy! Just 
so that I can get this straight in my head. He tried to make you have an abortion. He made you pretend it was right. And then he made you give away your baby. He put a lot of pressure on me, yeah. I was stuck between him and the croppers. In the end, I lost sight of what I really wanted. Right. It's just, uh, now that I come to think about it, I mean, whenever I saw you two together at work or in the pub, you were all over him, floating your eyelashes, laughing at his jokes. I mean, did he make you do that as well? You can believe what you want, Karen. I will. But if you marry him, you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. Don't you dare turn your back on me! Don't just get lost, eh? I must ask you all, please, to sit down. This has had disaster written all over Karen, it. Karen, stop it! You're ruining Amy's christening! What are you doing? Oh, look, everybody. Daddy's here! Well, yippee! Take her home, Steve! Oh, oh, do something, oh, Karen! Ow. Are you a man or a mouse? Ow. You did a little ring around just before my wedding, didn't you, eh, Trace? She cancelled my venue! My photographer! A cake! Oh, he still him. married you though, didn't he, Karen? Even if he was kicking and screaming! Ow! I decided not to drag him into my bed! Please! Oh. You know what, Vicka? Ow! My baby's my husband's. That's my husband's baby! However painful that must be, you have no right to make a mockery of this church. I'll be in the vestry, Emily. I'm very sorry, Miles. Come on, she's not worth it. Do every day! I have to pop with this smug cow lord in it with a pram. <laughs> laughing at me. Nobody's laughing. Look at somebody. Please get her off me. Steve doesn't want to know. Okay. Ow! Okay. Let it no, go. No. You could win the lottery and have a personality transplant and he still wouldn't want to know. Okay. Okay. Right, that's enough. <laughs> She is a psycho. Let's just go, shall we? Who cancelled my wedding? Try any more stunts like that, and I will be booking your funeral. Do you get it? Now that is enough. Oh, here she is. Not a care in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't ring the police when you left your kid on our doorstep. Oh, that's what you call leaving her with a father, is it? So what kind of world do you live in where it's just all right to just leave kids in doorways? A world where the parents share the responsibility for the fruit of their loins, Karen. Do you know what? You are coming with me and you're going to collect your child. I'm not, as it happens. And I'm not prepared to discuss our daughter's childcare with an outsider. Childcare? Is that what you call using it to get in between me and Steve? No, I'm sorry Amy's made you feel like this, Karen. But I suppose it is best you know now, while your eggs are safely unfertilised. That is if you actually have got any, which, uh, well, remains to be seen. Don't you dare get on that bus. Get your stinking bra out of my house! Just wait up. What do you want? I heard. And I'm so sorry. I can only guess what you're going through. Get off me! Get off!
Oh, God. Oh, keep her out. Where are they? Please. She's trying to kill me. Why? Let me in, Hayley. Just let me in. Right, Tracy. Whatever's happened? Whatever you two are arguing about this time? an argument. Just let me in. No, calm down first. No! Calm down. No. We can talk about it properly. She's a pregnant woman. Not anymore, Hayley. She lost her baby. She lost her baby, so she stole mine. She stole Amy, and she killed her. She killed Amy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is it true? Where are you? Is it true? All right. Where is she? Are you sure about this? Yes. She stole the car, Haley, And Amy was in the back. And she set fire to it. Now, where is she? I don't know. And it's between me and her now, Amy, so you better go. No, no, come on, I can go. Mom, just get out! Don't do it, please! Please, please! Karen had Amy in the car. She set fire to it. A lot. I've got to go. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Is it true that Karen lost the baby? Yes. So she might have... Oh, God. Oh. Hayley, get off. I've got to go. What's going on? Oh, you've got Amy. She's sick. Is she all right? Yes, a, a bundle of joy, as always. They can not give it to you. Yes, I, I thought it was a little strange. <laughs> Is everything all right? Just hang on to it for a few more minutes. Oh, She was in the car when I took it. You're a liar! Oh, no, no. Look, I didn't steal her. I just wired the car. And then you started having to go with me again. You know, I had nothing but sympathy for you when I found out you lost your baby. I didn't want your sympathy. I actually felt sorry for you. Oh, God, no, you never. It was just a dream come true to you. I want you to know what it fell out. Oh, God. God, no, and I didn't hurt her. Looks like you're trapped. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I gave them to Hayley. Was there a spare set? Well, yes. What well, can I have them? Mike's got them. What's all the racket? Oh, well, I don't know. Tracy and Karen are trying to kill themselves in my factory or something. Look, I'm going to have to knock the door down. Can you two give us an hand? Well, Michael Oberke, he might still be at Fred's. No, don't go knocking. What's, he... What's happening now? <gasps> <gasps> You're lying! You're just trying to save 
save you, mate. As soon as they open the door, they will be in here. Stitch, not even here. You expect me to believe that? The only way is down, Karen. And you won't be needing the stairs. Where have you got them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, my God. that one. Oh, oh my God. God, they're on the roof. Oh, no. Look. Look. I lost my baby. I just wanted you to know what it felt like. You can even call that a fetus. You couldn't carry a child. God, I couldn't sell one. You'll always be barren, Karen. And you know it. And that is why you did what you did! Tracy! Amy, say something! Tracy, come down! Don't you see the child? Yes, you'll never have one! And you'll never have my husband! Because oh, that's what you oh, really want. Isn't it? Oh, oh no! no, 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 no me and you! No! All the fighting! All the arguments! They end! Right here! What is it? We you two? Why do you, why do we always end up like this? You were there, Steve. You saw what she did. Why are you protecting her? Because he loves me and he hates you. <laughs> Shut up! And you, Amy, is down there with Roy and Ailey. What is it, eh? What's happening? See that mess downstairs? You three are gonna pay for that. Just send me the bill. I will, don't you worry about that. Oh, Steve. She's gonna kill me if you're under tipped up. I wanted to throw you off the flaming roof myself. <laughs> I couldn't feel any worse if you did. She actually ran me over. I need to go to the hospital. I think I've broken something. Well, I'll see you in the morning, then. What? You would. Steve! Someone has actually tried to kill me, and I am in a lot of pain. May I remind you, this is not the first time that I have been to hospital this week. So have I, Karen.